Hello YouTube, today we've got uh, a wee beer review. A couple of beers that were sent to me from Zane or Rookie Brew. In Christ, uh, he, see, he was in Christchurch yesterday, the uh, 20th of the 6th of June. Um, and he's given me two beers to try. I gave him uh, a uh, an easy IPA that I all grained and some of my smoky bourbon spirits. And the first one is Kiwi Zombie, which I've started to pour out. And uh, it is all Gladfield malt, Wakata, Mochwaker, and New Zealand Cascade hops. The other one is is wild brown ale fermented all Gladfield malts with his wild cider yeast no hops and I've got to tell you it's smelling pretty good So it's quite a nice balance between the um, the hops and the malts. So without further ado, I'm not going to try and pick out what what flavours on what aromas I'm smelling. It's probably a bit cold. Certainly some kind of uh, gentle floral notes. on the um, palate than on the uh, on the nose but all in all I would say it's a top beer well done Zane you have improved my friend not that there was anything wrong before it was just he had issues with fermentation temperature control which I also did so, in summing up, that's a beer that I would actually enjoy the recipe for, Zane, and I would actually brew that myself. I would. I would brew that myself. It's a little, like, a little bit earthy. <clears throat> Uh, flavors um, yeah it's probably the mochuaca because I'm not used to that and here's his uh, oh crocky what's it called his wild brown ale I think it was Smells fine. It smells good. Oh, certainly very carbonated that first one. It was possibly slightly more carbonation than I would have expected, but then again it was very cold and we all know CO2 likes the cold. I don't know if he bottled grind these or if the No, these are being kegged by the look of it because there was no sediment. Oh yeah, there is a wee bit. Oh no, they have been bottle aged. Wow. 
wow that's got some carbonation too that's a very nice it's not black like it looks on the uh, camera because I haven't got very good lighting in here but uh, you certainly can pick up that yeast in a good way I mean you know you can pick up that it's not like USO5 or Brewer's Yeast or I don't know what he's actually done here but anyway it's wild cider yeast yeah I can tell the yeast is in there hmm I mean, you, you've got to learn from trying these things out, and there's nothing wrong with it. It's just, for my particular palate, I would brew this, but I wouldn't probably wouldn't use that yeast. Just me personally, there's nothing wrong with the. I mean, it's it's different. It's really weird. It's given it sort of, I, it's hard to put my finger on it, but it's, um, kind of like berries of some sort. Berries, I don't know, boysenberries or strawberries, or some kind of berry, dark berry, um, characteristic to it. All in all, there's nothing wrong with that. It's a sessionable beer. I have to say, my first comment was because my palate was not at all used to that sort of a yeast sort of thing. But as I'm drinking it, it's actually turning out quite nice. I have to say, I take back my first comment. I do. I absolutely do. There's nothing wrong with that, boy. Oh yeah, I can actually... I can actually, oh yeah, I can see through that. I can see through that. No, there's nothing wrong with that. Cheers. Double fisted. Two handfuls of lovely beer. Mm -mm -mm.